What is going on guys? It is Bucky and welcome to another fantastic tutorial. And this is actually the 8th intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to convert lists to arrays and arrays to lists and a bunch of other good stuff like that. So the first thing you're probably wondering is alright, why would I want to convert an array to a list or a list to an array? Well Java has different methods. Um, hold on, let me move my microphone. There we go. Java has certain methods that you can only do to arrays and certain methods that you can only do to lists. So sometimes you need to convert them back and forth depending on what you need to do the data. So let's go ahead and actually that's the name. Let's go ahead and start out by making an array. A uh, string, I'll name it stuff and just put a bunch of stuff in here. I'll put like babies, um, watermelon and make sure you spell it like watermelon and let's see what else regular melons you definitely need that in there and fudge so that's good enough you uh, make sure it's like more than three or something for a good demonstration so now we need to build a list that contains all of the stuff in the array so let's go ahead and build a linked list and of course this was imported in java util that's why we're able to use this and we're going to cast string because that's what type of data we're going to be working with and we're going to name it the list so we won't get confused and it's going to be new linked list and just go ahead and type string again and for a parameter go ahead and put arrays dot as list and as list is a built-in method and for the parameter it takes what um, array you want to treat as a list and this is um, that stuff one that we just made so what this line of code did right here is it pretty much we created a list containing the stuff array so we pretty much just changed this to a list using the as list method and we did this because whenever we change an array to a list you can now treat it you can now use list methods on it so if you try to use list methods or collection methods on this array you can't because it's not a collection so that's why we had to change it to a list and why did we um, have to do this right here because this linked list constructor it only takes a collection or list as argument so we had to change this to a list and we can just pass it an array in here so now that we use as list it, it pretty much looks at it as a list and then we're able to pass it in as an argument. So if you got that down, then you should be uh, good for the next part of the tutorial. That's probably the most confusing thing. Pretty much change it to a uh, list, or actually make it view it as a list and then pass it in as an argument. Simple enough. And now what we can do is we can use list methods on this new list. So now we got a list and an array, which is pretty much the same exact thing. So let's put the list dot add pumpkin. There we go. Make sure you spell it totally wrong because uh, we don't care. And now what we can do is we can add other list methods. So we can put like the list dot add first. And of course, you know, this is a list method, not an array method. So that's why we're able to use this. And let's put like first thing. So whenever you do regular add, it automatically adds it to the end of the list. And you can do other cool methods that you can only do list and not arrays, like add it to the beginning of list. And of course, this wouldn't be possible if we only treated it as array. So that's why we needed to convert it over to list to do these cool methods. So now that we got it to a list, you're saying, all right. Well, the thing, Bucky, is that I actually need that array to do other stuff, such as enhance for loops and stuff like that. Well, the cool thing about this is, once you're done treating it as a list and doing all the stuff you want to do, you can actually convert it back to an array. So let's go convert back to an array, little comment right there. And now go ahead and type the array that you already made, stuff, stuff. And now we want to set it equal to the list. And in order to convert a list to array, we use two array method right there. And what this does is it takes um the list that you're working with right here and converts it to an array so parameters go put new string and put the list dot size and this is going to be 
the size of your array is equal to the size of your list obviously you probably want to do this every single time so now you converted your list back to an array so here we have an array here we converted it to a list then we did some cool stuff to the list now with our new and improved list we converted it back into an array called stuff don't believe me I'll print it out so let's go ahead and put for string x as stuff and this is pretty much just a looping through the array system out I hate that little insert thing print f and for our parameters let's go ahead and just put something real easy string and x so what this is going to do is pretty much just print out our array so okay and it says first thing babies water melon melons fudge pumpkin so again it took this original one babies watermelons melons fudge which is here baby watermelon melons fudge and it added a first thing to the beginning and a pumpkin at the end and again it did that while it was a list and then it converted it back to an array so that is how you can convert arrays to list and list back to an array depending on how you want to treat it what methods you want to use on it and by using this technique you can take a collection of data and you can use both array methods and list methods on it so I mean with this information the whole the whole world of lists and array is in your hands feel the power feel the burn thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial